Oh my gosh, we have an unboxing to do. Guess we just got here. I'm pretty sure this is my two books. So, um, and then the Teespring sticker. <sighs> Perfect timing too, because I'm actually dressed up for once because I was about to film a video, but normally stuff comes in the mail on a day when I haven't washed my hair in days and uh, no makeup on, maybe drooling on the floor, who knows? <laughs> kind of like this video. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's huge. I think I ordered too big a size. Actually, no. I just put it on, got my phone in the pocket. Um, let me turn on some better lighting. This is why you order test samples because online I thought, hey, it's no problem if the words are black, it still looks really cute. But now, <laughs> let me try to show you in the lighting. In person, I'm thinking, no, you can't really read that. So I have a lot of work to do. I still love it. I'm still kind of obsessed with it. I have like an original product, so it's fine. Come and see. Oh, yeah, you think that's for you? That's you. Oh, who's that puppy? Who's that puppy? Oh, who is that puppy? It's you. It's looking behind the camera now. <laughs> anyway, ah, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, close up. Love it. I am so excited about this design. Or um <laughs> this video. Just don't say anything inappropriate. No, it's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? So I don't know what this one is. I think it's actually the tank top that I got because I needed to see the design. I'm trying to get Penny in it. Come see. Come here. Oh no, 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 no. We're not biting it. Penny. Here, take it away. Take it away. Yep, it's the tank top. Okay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, wait, I didn't get to see it. Look at that. Can you see? Ah. What do you think? What do you think? Check it out. You can see I'm actually wearing the old design. Hold on. Can you tell? Yeah. I, yeah. It's like very wrinkled. It's hard for me to do this. Mm -hmm. How's that? Looks good. Yeah. Does it look more 3D and all that jazz? It does, right? It looks way more 3D. It does to me. Ah, I can't do this with one arm. Yeah, look at that, that cool cut out. Wow, look at, okay, I'm gonna give you a close up. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's very wrinkled, but I'm totally gonna wear this to work out tomorrow. This is gonna make me wanna work out. Can you see it all? Yep. Yay, I'm so excited. I mean, it's still exciting. I just feel like I don't look as cute normally when we do videos like that, but oh, I'm so excited to unbox these. <laughs> Okay, let me start by saying I don't do unboxing videos like ever, so I'm probably gonna do this wrong. But I don't really care because this just got here and I'm not waiting. Like, maybe I'll never show this video, I don't know. But I'm super excited. It's like Christmas is coming early because not only did my true proof copies for the Enchanted Crown arrive, so we have, I'm pretty sure one of these is the hardcover. I'm guessing this one is probably the paperback. Um, so this is how Ingram Spark sends them, in case you're curious. And then this is the sticker, the future best-selling author sticker. I did not think to unbox this and some of the other things, but I did do some unboxings. And like I said earlier, normally when things come in the mail, I am just looking absolutely terrible. So for once I was already getting ready to film a video. Actually, I was getting ready to film a reel specifically. It's only 20 seconds, you wanna see it? Can you let me know if like my new styles are okay? I I'm trying to reinvent myself. So for work, I thought this was cool because when you double the bows, you double the power, you double the intimidation and you double the respect. This shows I'm like well-traveled, you know, like hashtag wanderlust, follow me on Instagram. Oh. I'm having fun finding ways to talk about the cute, you know, Corgi merch that I just launched. And the week that I'm filming this, there is a discount going on. So I just want to make sure that people know about it and I talk about it and now, so let's start with the sticker. Oh my gosh, it's big. <laughs> That's like the size of my hand. Let me show you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I'm thinking, I haven't decided yet, but I was considering putting it on the computer like this, or maybe in the middle, because I don't really love that it lights up, if you know what I mean. I think that's kind of weird. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that looks good. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know, because I'm not really a sticker on a computer kind of person, as you can see, it's shiny, and I like to keep it shiny. So the other option, doing something like this. So this is the actual decal, right? And then this is the sticker. 
It's actually bigger. That's so cool. So I think I might actually get like a color bullet journal next, but then I've got two bullet journals in a row with future best-selling author. Not that I'm complaining, but it would last for a really long time versus if I put it on something like this. Someone gave me this notebook. I have literally not written a thing in it. I think I'm gonna put it on this. It has something underneath it, but I haven't used it yet. So I feel like da 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 da. I'm totally gonna put it on this and then I'm gonna make it, I think the notebook for my next novel, the one that I've been calling my secret WIP, but on Instagram, you guys help me decide on a code name, um, which may also be a title. I don't know yet, but I'm calling it Project Invisible Souls. Here it is. I'm a little nervous right now, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know which one is which. Let's go for it, let's open this one. Okay, how the heck? Okay. How in the... Okay, I don't really know if this is right, but... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ooh, 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 it's the hardcover. Should I start with the paperback? Keep up the suspense? Now I really wanna know. Wait, hold up. What? It's way more purple in person than it is. What? Oh my gosh, I kind of love it, but I'm kind of freaking out. When did it become purple? Okay, sorry, let me show you. See, it looks blue on camera, but oh my gosh, this is looking so purple. I'm freaking Penny out. <laughs> So purple, you guys. I don't think it's really coming across on screen because now it looks blue to me here. Let me show you. Okay, this is just a random picture I had printed and it like cut off the words and everything. And then here, you can kind of see the difference. This is more blue and this one is more purple. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but I kind of love it. So weird. I don't understand. Like, yeah, you can totally see it, right? Is it just me? Somebody help me. Tell me if this is just me. But this is what I've always seen it as, and now this is like way more purple. <gasps> what? When did that happen? Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is the first draft, you guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like super huge font, widely spaced, because I wanted to make the spine bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Where did that go? Hold up. <laughs> this says new section to write, and then bullet point. <laughs> So just FYI, this was when I put it in and submitted it as a paperback. I just put in what I had and I made sure that it was a placeholder. Yeah, notes. That's funny. Because in case you're wondering, the book is not done yet. Um, it's much further along than this though. This was about five or six drafts ago. So I'm gonna show, I'm gonna open the hardcover in a second and I'm kind of panicking. I'm kind of freaking out because of what I saw. And that is actually an older draft as well because I'm editing for betas. By the time you see this, I will have probably done yet another round all the way through and edited. And then I'm gonna be sending it to my amazing editor, Natalia, in January. And then once it gets to that stage and I get it back and I do the final, you know, answer her edits and do a final proofread, then it will be done probably in February sometime. So this is not the final either, but it's the final cover. Are you ready? Oh no. Oh no, they screwed up. Ingram Spark, you screwed up. It's still gorgeous though. Ingram Spark, you suck sometimes. This is not the cover. <laughs> but now I guess I can reveal this sooner because this is just the inside cover and it's still really gorgeous. Look at this. Ah, <laughs> it's so pretty. And um, this is, if you look inside, see here it's got the map doesn't have any like actual formatting done yet this is just directly from my manuscript in word this one is actually like finished like I wrote the whole thing but man you guys I'm really bummed right now that you don't get to see the final cover I don't know what happened I don't know what's wrong with Ingram Spark I mean it's sad and at the same time it doesn't even surprise me anymore just gonna be honest with you Ingram Spark 
I know, I know, I know that I submitted the whole thing. I'll even flash a screenshot here and show you because I know for a fact that I submitted the dust jacket, which is the, I'll show you. So the dust jacket is this thing right here. This is called the dust jacket. And then this is called, I can't remember what it's called. So stay tuned for like a dust jacket reveal with the character because it is done. But um, I guess that cover reveal is coming. And for right now, you get this cover reveal. Ah. Honestly, I think this one is my favorite. Like this one's gorgeous too. Let me show you them all. Why not? There's the Ginny Key. Oh, I really like that one too. The Cursed Hunter. In case you didn't catch a good glimpse, there's the Stolen Kingdom. This one is much thicker. Honestly, they're about the exact same, but I think that the Enchanted Crown is gonna end up being even thicker. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it small, but I definitely have added another 4,000-ish words since I printed them. <laughs> ah, here you go. That looks so good, oh my gosh. Actually, it's kind of cool that this one is more purple because now it matches more. I wasn't sure I was gonna like purple. Mandy had to convince me to try it, but I actually really love it, so. Man, I am so bummed that they didn't send the dust jacket. I guess I can share this video sooner now because this is not the full cover reveal, so. Um, good for you guys, a little bit sad for me because now I have an email and or customer service call to make to spend probably an hour on the phone being frustrated. But such is the life of an indie author, honestly. And hey, you know what? It kind of makes this more fun. In case I didn't say that already, this is by Mandy Lynn. Mandy did such a good job. Subscribe if you want to be around for the cover reveal. Like I said, I don't know how to do an unboxing video. I just totally went on a tangent, but. Ooh, the back looks really good. Did I show you guys the back? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not show you the back. So Mandy put all four on there for me. So this is the, is that the final? It's always good to check for um, typos and anything just because that's why you order a proof copy is to check if you missed anything. So I'm gonna read through this really carefully, but don't read it unless you're okay with spoilers. But if you want, you can pause the video and read it. There's the spine. Let's see how this looks with the other one. I love this. It actually matches the Stolen Kingdom really nice. It kind of is like a bookend. Um, and this is the final copy of The Curse Hunter, by the way. It's a lot thicker than the proof copy that I had when I first showed you guys the stack, but it's still, still clearly much thinner, but it's not a novella anymore. It's definitely a full novel. It's just a short one. I'm gonna sleep with this under my pillow. Just kidding, that's weird, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this crazy unboxing. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't super crazy weird, but if it was, give it a thumbs up anyway. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye. And don't forget to check out my brand new merch store below, which is linked in the description box. And you can check out all the cool designs like the Word Boss Corgi, future best-selling author, just one more page, Reader Corgi. And for Christmas only, there is a Santa Corgi that will be going away on December 31st. And so just wanted you guys to know that you can get this before Christmas currently. And don't forget to use the discount code Bethany10, which expires today and save 10%. And if you missed the discount, definitely subscribe to my newsletter. I will send out discounts in the future as well. Here's the holiday shipping if you wanna check it out and maybe get yourself or someone else something fun for Christmas. Thank you.